So here's the fake CPU that I received from Amazon. Uh, to their credit, they're taking it back. Um, but I had just removed the heat spreader to see what was underneath because I was suspicious. And you, when you look at this from the side, you can see right through it, and, and that's not normal. All right, so I went ahead and I pried it up a little bit. I could hear it cracking, so I knew it wasn't hurting anything, and it's just glue. That's, that's all we have under here. We have a little bit of glue on the uh, heat spreader, and we have a, a dummy circuit board. And when I looked at this after pulling it from my motherboard, which I did try and get this to work first, um, I did notice some scorch marks here in the corner. And I'm thinking that I probably destroyed the motherboard by putting this in there, uh, probably shorted it out. Uh, because it wouldn't even throw postcodes. So I called EVGA, and to their credit, you know, they had a guy at 3 o'clock in the morning who was just like, oh, yeah, you know, if it's not even showing a postcode, then it's got to be a dead motherboard. Uh, but I think that really it was just a fake CPU that killed my X299 Dark. Uh, but again, Amazon is taking it back, both the chip and the motherboard, so that's great. But really, this falls on them because they should have checked when somebody returned this the serial number on the CPU against the box before sending it back out to me. But that's my uh, fake CPU story. So, uh, yeah, at least I'm not out the $1,500 plus the $500 for the motherboard. And so it's just a fun story.